soon. As for Walker's head coach Greg Popovich, the media has yet to have an opportunity to talk with him since the pandemic has begun, but we know he's usually a go to voice during times like this. We don't have a statement from him yet, but based on this response during a 2017 press conference, we have an idea where he stands on racism and police brutality in the wake of George Floyd's murder. You know, obviously, you know, race is the elephant in the room and we, and we all understand that. But uh, unless it is talked about constantly, it's not going to get better. People get bored. Oh, is it that again? They pull in a race card again. Why do we have to talk about that? Well, because it, it's uncomfortable. There has to be an uncomfortable element in the discourse for anything to change. You know, whether it's the LGBT movement or, you know, uh, women's suffrage, uh, race, it doesn't matter. Uh, people have to be made to feel uncomfortable, and especially white people, because we're comfortable. We still have no clue of what being born white means. It, 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 it's hard to sit down and, and decide that, yes, it, it's like you're at the 50 you know, the 50 meter mark in a 100 meter dash, uh, and you got that kind of a lead. Yes, because you were born white, you have advantages that are systemically, uh, culturally, psychologically there. And they have been built up and cemented for hundreds of years, but many people can't look at it. It's, it's too difficult. Uh, it, it can't be something that is on their plate on a daily basis. Uh, people want to hold their position. People want the status quo. People don't want to give that up. And until it's given up, it's not going to be fixed. It's really sad in the grand scheme of things that we can copy and paste that speech and it's roughly three years old. We all have to do better and that is just the bottom line. Now coming up in our next half hour, we still have more from Lonnie Walker as he puts some words to his actions with his help in the community today, Phil. And this community loves him already. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Evan.